Hi, this is Anthony Weeks for the Syncroy Economic Development Initiative. I am the managing director of the group called SETI here in the U.S. Virgin Islands and the island of St. Croix. I'm joined here with uh, the president of the United Way U.S. Virgin Islands uh, chapter, and we're coming to you before you this afternoon to share with you the collaboration that we are engaging, a very important collaboration. Uh, recently, as you know, uh, Dorian, Hurricane Dorian wreaked havoc on uh, the people of the Bahamas. Our hearts go out to the people of the Bahamas because, as you know, we have been, we were devastated a couple of years ago uh, by two cat Category 5 hurricanes, Irma and Maria. And so it's not unusual that we feel that or feel inclined that we need to do something and help our brothers and sisters in the Bahamas. SETI and the United Way have joined force with some other organization. I want to uh, take the time to also acknowledge the Government Access Channel and the Government of Virgin Islands for this opportunity to be able to share this message with you also Temple Networks, and also our uh, donors who have helped to deliver our first set of containers that will be deliver delivered to the people of the Bahamas. We have next week um, two 40-foot containers going with 58,000 bottled water to the people of the Bahamas, and we're excited about that because we're, we're dubbing that, we're calling that the water of life. And today we're going to have, we're going to share with you just some, some a little bit of inf information because we'd like to engage you. You have a part you can play. You can make a difference. The idea is we represent the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands response to what's happening to the people of the Bahamas. And so I want to thank you, uh, uh, Vinod, for uh, joining, joining force today uh, to, to be able to address this important issue. Uh, United Way is, is playing an important role. We're happy with the partnership to team up with the United Way, U.S. Virgin Islands. And why don't you just tell, tell the audience a little bit about the United Way, uh, what, what you do and who you are and how we are, we are partnering to help facilitate this process. Sure. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, my name is Vinod Pidadlani. I'm the President and CEO of the United Way here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Your local United Way, as I'd like to share, your local United Way has been in existence for 82 years. We opened our doors in 1937 and we've been proud to serve the people of the Virgin Islands since we started. Part of what we do is we make social investments into our communities that make investment into financial stability programs, health initiatives, and educational programs. We also do grants to other smaller nonprofits to help them in their work, but we also engage our community about volunteerism and coming out and advocating for a cause. We try to be that megaphone for our population and for our people that they can speak about for the problems that we have, we're affected by. And in that way, we bring us all of us together, and in doing so, trying to fight that problem and approach the change that we'd like to see for the future for ourselves and the future of our territory. So I, I enjoyed the, the invite to partner with you and partner with SETI when it came to speaking about the people of the Bahamas and speaking about our, our Caribbean brethren. You know, we went through tragedy two years ago. You know, we went through two Category 5 storms that affected all three islands in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And the United Way was there. We, we mobilized with partners in the mainland, and we brought items in, and we were able to bring relief goods into all three islands and make distributions. But that didn't come because there weren't nice people in this world that wanted to help us. Mm -hmm. There were people that saw what we went through and felt our pain and then stepped up and contacted our office and made the drives and came out and sent, brought in the clothes, sent the water, sent the batteries, sent the vital things that we needed because the caring power, and I like to use that word, that caring power, people felt us. People felt what we were going through. And right now, what we see on the TV, what's going on in the Bahamas, it, it, it stokes the same type of passion to try and help those people as well, to help our, our, our Caribbean brothers because that is really what it's about. It's about making sure we can be there to help and support as we move forward because we know hurricanes aren't going to change. Climate's not going to change. Uh, They're becoming more increasingly more dangerous and larger and more destructive. Correct. And, and I, I saw the news this morning. There are five active... Six. Oh, excuse me. Six active storms in the tropics, which has tied a record right. since 1992 as the most active storms in one given point in time. Right. And tropics doesn't necessarily mean just the Caribbean. No, no, of course. Asia the, yeah, and, and correct, right. correct, correct. The, and, and so with that being said, it, it's just becoming the norm. So we need to galvanize and get together to understand how we're going to approach this. Yeah. 
And, you know, the United Way stands here always ready to support the people of the Virgin Islands in our normal work and then our extra work that we're trying to do. And, you know, we're looking forward with SETI and really making a difference and then working with the different partners between SETI and, and the different donors and, and the different people who want to engage in that, in that care and that giving and that philanthropy. So we look forward to that. Absolutely. And, and I want to just let the folks know you, you can get more information on this outreach, this relief effort, the U.S. Virgin Islands response to working and helping and assisting the folks of the uh, Bahamas. You can go to www.bahamashurricane.info, www.bahamashurricane.info. When you go there, you'll get a lot of information as to the things you can do to assist. We're going to come October 13th, Columbus Day weekend. We're joining force with the Miami Broward One Carnival. Uh, they have been so kind to allow us to be part of their carnival. They're going to give us a booth, an area where we can do outreach, uh, receive a, a relief supply uh, for, from the community, and also donation uh, for people who want to give their kind donation to this process as well. And so we welcome that. This initiative is called the Case Bahamas Hurricane Relief Effort. This is important because we're also looking to do, in addition to the Miami Broward One Carnival uh, partnership, we're also looking to partner with some music industry part players as well because we're also planning a major humanitarian uh, relief concert fundraiser as well in, in, in Florida as well. So we will be, uh, engaging other community partners and other partners in this process but we want you to do your part we, we have a website where you can go and learn about the, the work that we're doing and to be involved with the process we invite you to do that again that's www.bahamashurricane.info and I want to thank you uh, uh, Vinod uh, for the the work which you're doing together and the, the role of the United Way US Virgin Islands in this process thank you um, I also wanted to share because we are acting as the fiduciary for SETI when it comes to the donations for the monetary donations as well. So the website that if you'd like to make the donation to the case relief, uh, Bahamian case relief uh, effort, you can visit us at www.unitedwayusvi.org. Go to the donate button. You can make your monetary donation there. And in the subjects line or in the RE, just put Case Bahama Relief, and those monies will go toward this program and this project as we work with SETI, as with all the partners, to try our best to engage, help, rebuild, and, and to share. And, and the most important thing is we've been through it, so it's also sharing how you get through this. Because at time, we have to also remember, whatever we go through, it's about the hope that you can share, that people have hope to rebuild, and the hope to actually become whole again. And so I thank you again, and, and I look forward to all the great things that we're going to be working on. Uh, you know, United Way is always here, and, and we're going to be here, and we're going to continue to do our work to support our community in the Virgin Islands and those that we can around our, our territory and our, and our region as we can as good people and, and as good people of the Virgin Islands. Thank you to the people of the Virgin Islands for your, your generosity and your benevolence. Uh, remember, we are a brother's keeper. What affects our brothers affect us as well. So we look forward to your involvement, your engagement in this process. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come before you this afternoon to share this information. Again, go to www.bahamahurricane.info, www.bahamahurricane.info, and you have all the links to take you to United Way, U.S. Virgin Islands, and all the other links as well. I appreciate it. Have a good day.